Hey, all done. Buddy Isaac here. Let's try this again with the microphone turned on. Bam. I'm going to show y'all something. Y'all see that road right down through there? This is a section of road. That's haunted. Now, why am I talking about a haunted section of road? Because it's October. It's uh, Halloween month and all the spooky stuff supposed to happen around October. You know what I mean? Oh, man. But, oh, boy out today. Well, I'll tell you a little story about this part of the road. Let me set my camera down right here. Up on this bank. Anyway, so anyway, I'm walking home one night, right? It's about, it snowed one day. There wasn't no way I could get home. So I had a eh, pretty good walk ahead of me. So I parked my car up there, and I had three bags in each hand, right? So I'm starting to walk over this hill. And I'd always heard stories, okay? People said that they've heard stuff run past them and, and walk past them and everything on this road, but it's always late at night. Most of the time it's been in the winter. So anyway, uh, I'm walking down through there and I got three bags of groceries in each hand, right? I'm walking down through there and I hear something coming up behind me, you know. And I thought it was a big dog or something, you know. So I turned around and right about the time I turned around, I heard it go by me. It went down the hill and I heard it crunching in the snow all the way to the bottom of that hill until I couldn't hear it no more. Now, I grabbed my cell phone and called a friend of mine at the time, and I said, I don't know what this is, but it just run past me. That's all I said. Well, right about the time I said that, I lost service on my phone. Well, of course, he thinks something's done eat me, and uh, so he's in panic. He's trying to get a hold of me, and I'm going, I'm way down there by then, and I don't have any service for like the next mile, because okay, so this is a long walk that I'm walking home. And it's like two o'clock in the morning. And uh, but now right here I did, you know, I finally got service right by the time I got to the house. And he called me and he said, Man, I was getting ready to come looking for you. And but but anyway, I told him, I said, Now something run past me. He said, What was it? Don't know, I didn't see it. I didn't see any footprints. I heard the footprints and I heard the uh, I heard the crunching in the snow and it done it all the way down my hill. But uh didn't see nothing. And I know and and it wasn't pitch black dark either because the moon was out. It was cold that night. It was like, man, it was probably 18 degrees or better, or worse, or however you say that. It was, it was cold. It was below freezing. And uh, you know how the moon is when it shines on the snow, everything's real bright, and there was nothing, I'm telling you. And I heard it crunching in the snow right down that hill. Oh, man. But, and, uh, but I, I, you know, I've heard different things like that. But this being October, you know, I'm going to start uh, little ghost stories and stuff like that. And that's what I'm going to do this month. And uh, before this month is over, I am going to hit a pumpkin with a golf club. Now, y'all can look forward to that. But anyway, uh, I'm going to bring you a few ghost stories from the location that actually, uh, actually happened. And I just thought this would be a cool little place to start because I've heard it. Just about everybody that lives on this road that I've talked to has said that they've heard it. Just about. Now, not everybody, but a lot of them has heard this thing run down this hill, including myself. But And every time I have to walk home in the wintertime now, I think about that. But I've only heard it the one time. It's pretty neat, I think. But anyway, I'm going to get up off here, and I'm going to run on to get my car and go to the house, I guess, if I can get out. Looks like they had road blocked up there for some reason. Hey, we'll get out. And uh, go home and get me a bite to eat. I got me some oatmeal raisin cookies. I love oatmeal raisin cookies, let me tell you. I had six of them last night. Don't know where they went. Well, I know where they went, but nobody else does. But anyway, well, I'm going to get up off here, and I just thought I'd bring you a quick video today and about the ghost stories and all that good stuff. Who knows? I even see something out there here one day. There used to be an old house sitting right there, but it ain't there now. So. Uh, nobody ever knows of anything that's happened on this road, as far as I know, but who knows? You know what I mean? Who knows? Well, it's Buddy Isaac. Y'all take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time I do. And I'm out.